Oh, that's good. You don't like that? Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the, it's a thing that folks in the... There's a great deal of people in the U.S. that don't like grape-flavored things because it reminds them of medicine. Maybe that's why I don't. And, like, when I was growing up, um, the medicine... The medicine what was it was dimetap mm-hmm. and that was the word we used for it mm-hmm. was the oh you know you need some dimetap and it was grape flavored but i don't know i got through childhood and got into adulthood and still enjoy grape things so it worked out okay well, that's pretty good hello everyone and welcome to tuesday um a few things a few things uh Yesterday, uh, I had a bit of a headache. Um, mo- well, I say a bit of a headache. I had a headache. It was a full, full-blown headache for most of the day. Today, I also woke up with a bit of a headache. Um, it's hard to tell because Mal's first thought was, oh, you're going through caffeine withdrawals because you haven't had caffeine. And like, maybe, but you know, as someone who doesn't consume very much caffeine, although I do consume caffeine regularly... It's not much, but it is regularly. I'm not sure. It could also just be the fact that, you know, my sleep schedule's been bad. So that that could be it. Um, But one thing that was going on yesterday that I didn't mention because I was really hoping that it was just kind of a one-off thing and it wasn't wasn't like a a major – it was just like, oh, I just need to sleep this off and I'll feel better. It's because I stayed up later, didn't get enough sleep, uh, was I had vertigo. I had vertigo um, hit me yesterday uh, in the evening, and um, it was it was not great, and it was kind of on and off. But when it was on, it was it was bad, and I was like, "It's fine, it's fine. I'm just I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm sure if I if I go to bed, it'll be fine." I woke up in the middle of the night last night to go to the bathroom, and I jumped out of bed, and when I did. I nearly ran into the door frame because I was I was dizzy and I didn't know it because um, I had been laying down. So um, I'm still dealing with that today. And like we managed to do breakfast stream and then after <laughs> right after breakfast stream ended because I had been sitting you know for however long uh, an hour and a half. I ended the stream and then I had to get up and walk around the couch to my desk and I got. When I got up, I was like, eh, I'm a little woozy. I got around to the other side of the couch, and as I crossed the threshold, the entire world went, dun, 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 and like I was like, oh, no, and then like I just hit the floor. So um, I got to taste carpet today, so that was exciting. Uh, I laid on the floor for a minute or so, and I didn't hurt myself. It was like I caught myself, but it was just the fact of like, oh, great. I was on the floor for a minute, pulled myself up, and crawled into my chair, and um and then I've been mostly good. I still have the faint feeling of like, oh, something's not right. So before the day is over, I'm going to try and do some of those uh, those exercises because there's there's very specific exercises you can do. They look insane, actually. For from for if if anyone didn't know what you were doing, because you're like crawling on the floor and then you you have to put your head upside down and all this stuff. But they do work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work on those a little bit today. Um, the other thing is that. Uh, you know, we had got Kepler's feeder set up, and we programmed it um, before bed. It went off this morning for the first time, and when it went off, he was on the bed. He was curled up next to me, and he raised his head and looked into the kitchen, and I was thinking, okay, go get it, and then he laid his head back down he, because he didn't know what it was. So Mal got out of bed and was trying to, like, coax him into the kitchen, like, there's something for you, and was calling him. And he just stayed on the bed, I guess, because he was comfortable. And finally, Mal picked him up and put him in the kitchen, and he walked over and was like, oh, neat. Since then, it's went off two more times. The second time was after breakfast stream, and he heard it and ran. We were upstairs. He heard it, and he ran to the stairs and looked down, and we were like, come on. Go get it. Go get it. And uh, we, we, we kind of gave him a little encouragement, and he walked down the stairs, and then he found it. And then the third time, I was in the shower, and Mouse said when it went off, he ran over to it and ate. So it took three times, and he already, he's got it. The sound. It's the sound, so. 
anyway, um, overall today has been, it's been all right. Uh, I, I had to take a little nap and I'm still recovering a little bit from all the sleep issues. The headache is, you know, I'm keeping it at bay with Tylenol and the vertigo is the biggest problem, but I'm hoping that I can do the exercises and I can get things, you know, cleared away. For right now, we're just having a little break, having a, a popsicle, and then, uh, you know, we get back to work. One of the big things today is trying to get Mal's um, video released for her next painting, and uh, we have most of it set to go. We have a little bit more to do on it, but by this evening, we should have it. We should have it released. Yeah, I like grape stuff. Well, you can eat all the grape ones. I will. That looks good. We picked up fajita meat uh, when we were at Costco the other day. I never, I never recorded us going to Costco, but we went to Costco on um, Sunday, which was the day I did the the review of the uh, Hollyland transmitter, which is why I didn't end up showing it. But we went and got some food, so we're actually making fajitas tonight. And uh, truth be told, it's a little late. But it's also it's been kind of one of those days where <laughs> there's been a million things to do and nothing's gone quite right. But at least we'll have some really good food to end the day off. Man, that looks good. I think this has been one of my favorite new meals of the last year that we've done a few times. I mean, that's reasonable. It's good. Because it's, it's very, very good. I'm very excited. We are having these late. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, before we ended uh, off the day, I wanted to quickly say that I've been a little confused why randomly in the past two days I've had, you know, vertigo coming back. Um, but earlier this evening, my ear started to hurt. And I was like, oh, That might explain something. So uh, I might be on the, the verge of, of getting an ear infection, which sucks a lot. Oh, God. And then, um, you know, does explain why I would suddenly have vertigo. So um, my plan right now is to uh, probably take some Sudafed or something tomorrow and see if that helps. And there's little things that you can do. Um, when I went to the ENT, they said one of the, the best things to do is actually if you plug your nose and you, you blow gently, you can feel, feel your ear canal open, and that helps drain any liquid that's going to cause an ear infection. So I've been trying to do that a little bit this evening, and then, again, I'll take Sudafed tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But for now, fajitas. But for now, fajitas. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we? I'm very, very excited about this. I'm probably going to have a third one, honestly. But only two can fit on my plate.